Let's swap in some AP2 repeaters. The LED side markers that came with my car finally died, and it was cheaper to replace them with the updated repeaters. It appears that the overall shape and size of these repeaters are the exact same as the AP1 style side markers. The turn signal connector appears to be the same. The only difference is there's an added video output, it looks like it's coaxial or something. Anyways, these should just drop in. Okay, let's get started. You're going to want to grab some painter's tape and a plastic trim removal tool. Honestly, even a plastic credit card would probably work. Lay down some painter's tape around the perimeter of the existing side marker. We're going to be using the trim tool to depress some tabs on the existing side marker and remove it from the existing fender. Carefully insert the trim tool and depress the tab on the side marker. As you do this, try to pull the side marker out and away from the fender and hold it in place with your hand. Continue to work around the rest of the side marker to loosen the tabs. Eventually, the whole thing should just pop out. Be careful not to yank too hard because it is still connected to the car through the wiring connector. Here's a better view of both of the side markers. To install the new side marker, simply connect the existing connector to the side marker and carefully snap it into the fender. You should hear it click positively. Unlike me, you may want to test the side marker before you place it back into the fender. But as you can see, it works with no problem and there are no errors on the center console. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and hopefully I saved you a few bucks.